Oof. Hey, so I've been having this like fun conversation on the forums with the long girl, crafty. And he's been picking out like some of the things in these uh, Cossack sword videos where they're doing things that wouldn't work in war. Like, for example, uh, when they're spinning the sword, they're pinching with uh, their pointer and thumb. And they're even doing this movement, which I'll explain in a second. Where they do a big frondo, and then it figurates on the floor, and then when it rolls around, it comes up like that. And he's doing it with index and thumb. I'm like, why? This was a warlike culture. These guys fought on horseback with sabers against like pretty tough opponents, and they're well known. And they fought for hundred now, two, three hundred years now. And I'm sure the saber horse tradition is a lot older than that. I'm like, what? Why? <laughs> and I found it. I found a World War I Russian manual where they're still using the shashka on horseback, kind of like the mounted dragoons of the British, you know, light cavalry with sabers that could charge in and take people. Um, very mobile, could get around on the field, not worrying about mud, stuff like that. Um, of course, that ended shortly after World War I because machine guns and rifles are very powerful. But this is what they said in the manual. The two grips for the Shaska is a hammer grip, or it's thumb on the back of a saber, saber grip. Um, if you try spinning the saber in the modern way, the first impact, like, an arm broke one as they knock it out of your hand. So, I think that's a sacrifice that has been made in modernism to make the dances look prettier, because this is primarily kind of like a nationalistic, like, cultural, uh, pride thing. You know, you go to these events and you're doing the dances of your nation's warriors or your people's warriors, the Cossacks. And so if I swing the frondos with a full hammer grip, effective, it's fast. I, I would definitely kill someone if this was a metal sword. But like, look how the back kicks out. That might be a flexibility issue on my part, but if I do the the double script here. It's tight, it's fast. And that fast flashiness and speed uh, looks good. So, one of the movements I've seen in a lot of videos, and you've seen a lot of these flourishing sword dancing videos, is they swing a tight frondo, keeping arm against the side, and at the end, the sword rolls back this way, and then comes around like this. That's a nice looking motion. If you do it with the incorrect grip, it's very fat. You're just kind of throwing the sword and it's coming up. And I've had another one that would look impressive. But if you do this with uh, a full grip, a hammer grip, when I cut down and I roll around, that. And if I'm fighting off the horse, when I'm cutting, It's a very nice transition. When I'm up here, it's, I can either cut here or I can cut or I can cut. Changes everything. Um, if you're on horseback, which they were, um, imagine you're standing up in the stirrups, this is in the manual, I'm grabbing the horn of the saddle, I have the sword up here, we're charging downhill, sorry I'm getting dirty, <laughs> and I'm cutting big power frondos as I'm going by. I might be switching hands to get the other side, But what if uh, the people I'm, I'm trying to cut with my sword want to fight back? And they probably are. Um, if I'm down here, the fastest way to defend myself isn't to come back around and cut them again. It's to reverse and come up. Now I have a little shielding motion that protects me from the people on the ground and lets me through chamber. And I was thinking, wow, this feels really familiar. What could it be? And then think about it. Or, you know, if I have two swords, it makes more sense. The chamber, the block, and the movement is all in one motion. Just like Krabby. Also a two curved sword art. So, this is an example again. I'm on horse, rondoing up. Oh, oh, I'm guarding myself every time I cut. 
that cuts the guard. So there's a very a little small gap that he can really get in here. Even if they have a spear, um, spears are going straight lines, I'm cutting at a horizontal and knocking it away. But that changes a lot of stuff for me. Um, all those movements. Stuff like that with the normal grip makes more sense. Uh, that's my theory. I'm sure if I actually met a coach at martial arts, I'd be like, well, yeah, obviously. But maybe not. I've never heard them explain it like that. So, interesting.